registered phenomena code 996. This ignition, and they never came back down. Object class, Alpha Yellow. Hazard types, auditory, contact hazard. Containment protocols, RPC 996's perimeter is to be secured via chain link fencing, measuring no less than three meters in height, topped with barbed wire. Said perimeter is to be monitored by security team Romero to park rangers for possible unauthorized entries. Should an unauthorized individual enter within RPC 996's perimeter, said individual is to be placed in indefinite detention and questioned appropriately. Description RPC 996 is a static patch of forested land known to have been previously inhabited by Native Americans, containing a singular fire tower as the only structure. RPC 996 is located in rural West Virginia and exhibits multiple anomalous properties. Note, the word static is used to describe RPC 996 in the sense that no natural change occurs in the area, even upon seasonal change. The first noticeable anomalous property of RPC 996 is the complete lack of natural sound. This property commonly comes alongside the report that subjects can only naturally hear the ringing in their ears. Any and all artificial sounds, e.g. footsteps, talking, coughing, will still manifest normally within RPC-996. The second anomalous property of RPC-996 manifests when a subject attempts to climb a tree and or the fire tower within RPC-996. Upon the subject reaching a varying point in height, they will suddenly begin to undergo an effect similar to that of fading out until the subject has disappeared completely. Further research into the reason for RPC-996's anomalous properties is ongoing. Addendum on 19. A severely deformed corpse genetically matching that of Zofia Skulls fell seemingly from directly above RPC-996. The corpse landed atop the fire tower prior to rolling off and falling circa 45 meters to RPC-996's floor. Note, Zofia Scholes was a six-year-old girl who was reported missing in 19. Following an attempt to climb one of RPC-996's trees, Zofia is the first documented victim of RPC-996. Upon further examination of the corpse, the following was discovered. The corpse was missing its lower jaw. The corpse had its scalp forcefully removed. The corpse had its ribcage broken at different intervals. The corpse did not have a brain. Further investigation is ongoing.